Next thing that we're going to do is the code for the monkey and then the boss monkey. So we click on the monkey here and click on code and we should have this. So we've got when clicked hide and that's going to work for when we're um, clicking and starting. I'm just going to uh, duplicate that and just because I want the hide and I'm going to go to events and when I receive when I receive try again I want to hide so we'll just get that out of the way now when I receive level 2 is when the monkey appears so when I receive level 2 and this is where we're going to put a bit of code here so we want this to sit inside a forever. So we go to control and we grab a forever. We want the monkey to first of all show because we've hidden it when we started or got try again. So the first thing we're going to put is go to looks and grab another show. And then we're going to, I might just grab a show and a hide and drop them down here because we may need them. That's quicker than going to them. We're going to go up to motion because we want it to appear at a certain place. So go to, and I might just have the monkey show. And that's pretty much where I want the monkey to show. So that's already there. 197 and 142 looks pretty good. What happens if I move the monkey across a little bit? That will be fine. 197 and one, negative 142 is pretty good. We want it to wait for a second there. Maybe not for a full second, but for maybe 0.1 of a second. And then I want it to move to the next costume. So I go to looks and I say next costume. And then I can duplicate this here. So when I see when I click on that, we're going to get the monkey moving like so. I want it to go across the page down the bottom, but I want it to move uh, at a random time. So I'm going to go to control and say wait one second, but I'll get the maths and I'll go for a pick random and I'll drop that in there. So that's one to let's say four seconds. And after that, I want the monkey to glide. So I'm going to go back to motion and I want it to glide over one second. And let's grab the monkey and move the monkey over to about there. And that's going to be negative 200 and 143. So negative 200 and negative 143. So let's see what happens. I'll click on this, the monkey appears and we see some changing of costume and then it waits and that's looking good because it's happening at a kind of well, I can feel the between one and four seconds randomness happening so I'm quite happy with that that's good all right so we've got the monkey appearing and moving across the screen so now we need to work out what happens when it touches the bird or if it gets to the berry stash so I'm going to go to events and when I receive level 2 I'll grab a forever loop from control and then inside this forever loop I want to put two if thens so there's one if then and there's another if then so the first one will be if we touch the bird and that will be sensing so if touching the bird I want it to first of all hide so we'll go to looks scroll down a bit and put hide I want it to I'll grab a show just right here these are always good to have sitting there to copy it's a little bit quicker the next thing I want to do is to play a sound so I'll go to sound I'll say play chomp until it's done then I want it to go back to where it was I want it to go back to 197, negative 142. And these numbers don't have to be totally exact. But um, 
around about, so we want it to go back to the bottom right hand corner. Then wait for one second before it does anything else, and then show. All right, so let's see what happens when we get the bird in the way. Great, it eats the monkey. Perfect. Now we want to work out what happens when it touches the cherries. So it's stealing some of those and we need to make our marker go down. That's been sitting there for a while. Okay, so that's working. Now let's see what happens when it touches the cherries. So if touching and sorry, I'm going to go to sensing and I'm going to use a touching color here. Click on this, go down to the dropper and let's go for that red. If touching that color, we want to change the score. So there's the variables. Change my variable by, and let's make that need 15. And let's call that negative two. Now that's changing a whole lot at the moment because it's uh, hitting a few different colors as it goes through, but that will change, that's all right. So we then want it to wait for half a second. And then we want to hide and show again with a bit of a going back to the corner in the middle. So we hide, we go back to the corner and then we will show again. So this should all happen as we need it to. So the bird eats the monkey. And if the bird doesn't, then we should see the scores change. What I've forgotten to just put in there is we need to play the sound because we want the monkey to say something cheeky. So after this, and when I click that again, We don't want chomp, we want chi chi. <laughs> just before we finish with the monkey, I just want to change over one of these files. So see here we've got play sound chomp until done. We actually want to use a start sound chomp until done. So we can right click and delete that block and put that one in there. And we'll do the same with this one because it's just a little bit quicker. It doesn't wait for the sound to play out until it moves on to the next block. So it's just a little more efficient. So I'll get one of these, delete this one, and put that one in there and make it chi chi. Super.